When browsing through a video's timeline, users traditionally manipulate an intermediary control that takes the form of a slider or seeker bar. This type of control is connected with a timeline and not with the video's contents. We show how we can browse and navigate through a video using direct manipulation techniques by simply dragging over the objects on a video scene. We implemented the Direct Manipulation Player, or DIMPI, that allows for users to go back and forth through the video's timeline by directly manipulating the video content. The DIMPI works as follows. As users move the cursor over a video frame, the cursor shape changes to that of a hand whenever it hovers above a region of the video that can be dragged. As a user presses over a region in the video where movement occurs, the system displays a subtle hint path corresponding to the detected motion curve. The user can then drag over the path in order to browse through the video's contents. For example, one can rewind to a point in a surveillance video where a particular car is in the process of parking. Closely study the style of an athlete pitching a baseball. Or locate moments of interest during a pool shot. We help users match their dragging to the object's motion curve by emphasizing the hint path as the cursor's position strays away from the motion curve. Finally, if a user drags the pointer past a predetermined threshold distance from the hint path, the direct manipulation is disengaged. To reinforce the user's belief of direct manipulation, we detect and subtract a video's background motion. This operation aims to match an object's absolute and perceived motions as closely as possible. Here we see how camera panning makes an object's real path different from its perceived one. Video frames shift inside the player's window as a result of the stabilization process. As they do so, they leave a trail of grayscale images which put the current video frame in context with the video scene. We implemented DIMPI using the c -sharp language. Its implementation involved the combination of two main components. A motion extraction and filtering component that populates each video frame with motion curves, and a curve manipulation component that translates a pointer's 2D motions into a location on a motion curve, which in turn corresponds to a particular frame in the video. Our studies indicate that directly interacting with video content is not only appealing for users, but also allows them to be at least two times faster than when using a standard seeker bar for tasks focusing on visual content rather than time. In conclusion, we introduced the concept of video browsing by directly interacting with its content. This idea represents a shift in the way we can think about browsing video and has the potential not only to benefit applications and systems in the areas of entertainment, video analysis, and security, but also other applications such as 3D modeling and animation systems.